do you know that it was when I stayed, the teaching office was the first office that God opened to me. I was not a gifted person. I could not prophesy, I could not see visions. Just for many years, for 12 years. After 12 years, the vista of heaven opened and when that, that's when the prophetic anointing came upon. I knew I had the calling of an apostle, but it, there was no evidence that I was not a teacher. All I was, and God told me that he had called me into the apostolic ministry. After staying in the office of a teacher for 12 years, the prophetic door opened, just on the path. I was not trying to be a star. No. I was in my, you come to, to my village where I am. There were big cities for me to go. I had lingo, I could speak people. Hey, the moment you become creative and you stop following, he said, I will show you a land. I will show you. Those 14 years were like dying. Dying. You know you are gifted, you know you have capacity, but it will be regulated by your king. Sometimes what he wants you to do is to shut up and sit down. Meanwhile, you see other people that don't have a lord, they are everywhere. No one restrains them. No one. When the time came for God to give authority, he went to the woods, to the caves, to check all the ones he told, sit here. Some had left because they felt God was not reasonable. We were still there. We were still there. In my village, I was there. But when I was posted from the office to Lagos, if I had taken my wife, they would say that I abandoned them. So I left my wife there as a sign that I was still there. So I was not at home for 11 years. That's the reason why we honor this woman. For 11 years. These 11 years were the days of my testing. So many women, so much seduction, so much. I did not touch any woman. She's the only woman that I know. Not touch. I, see. I was a supervisor in the realm in that in that our realm huh? where I was I was the chieftain I know you don't know what it means you don't know the power my signature had I did not defraud anybody I could do deals five deals every month Five, and it will pay me in dollars. I won't need to touch my salary for ages. Every day I come home to Jesus and say, Jesus, it is you I serve. My friends and colleagues called me a Jew, but they don't know that there was a spirit that was guiding my way. When the time to give authority came, Jesus came to me. In my lowly estate, he said, I give you power. Take my presence and power to the peoples of the world. It was long that I waited. Long. You know when you wait and it's no longer reasonable to keep waiting? Yes. 
I'll go back to my diary and read what he told me. The only reason why I waited was because of who said I should wait. It was the Lord. Now, he sends us all over the world. The inheritance. He was leading us to inherit. He's given us a measure of it. Not the fullness yet. To try us out if our hearts become enlarged. If our soul will be lifted up to vanity. Because there were many people that God tried with just a little. And they became thugs like this. There is a land he wants to show you. It is in that land he will make you a great nation. Not on the, not on the road, not on the path. No, he will take you to the land first. It's in that location he's going to make you a great nation. I also traveled to London with my wife on this last trip and we came to the airport we were at the counter trying to get our bags weighed, you know, and all of that. And then one of the people that works at the airport just, ah, you're here? Can you pray for me? And I just shook her and she fell under the, the anointing in the airport. And everybody started. <laughs> so, uh, I, I couldn't explain that. But he, he gave us some resources. He, he entrusted some resources to us because we waited. We, we stayed on the path. It would look foolish to keep walking. It would look foolish to keep your virginity. It would look foolish. If there's anybody here tonight you have not given your life to Christ, what he's saying to you is, get thee out. And you want to respond to him tonight. And Lord, I'm tired. I want to submit to you. Anywhere you are, you want to give your life to Christ, raise your right hand up so that the preacher can see you. And raise it high. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. High. For Jesus said that if you are ashamed of me in this broken world, I will be ashamed of you in the kingdom of my Father. High. This is your night of blessedness. I stand with Jesus.